any plans we should know about from infrastructure masons? So let me, you want me to tell you a little bit about masons first? Do. Great. Um, so Infrastructure Masons is a uh, group of professionals. So we are a professional organization, an association, and it's really about the people in this industry. And it is partners, end users, suppliers, everybody that makes the digital economy work. So think of it from the virtual machine or the container down. We, we build the underlying utility that enables the internet of everything. Anything that you do goes over some network that we operate, it goes into a data center in which we build or, or maintain, and into a compute system and a storage system that actually does the processing for you. So I don't care if you're on Snapchat or if you're doing Facebook updates or you're buying something on Amazon, right, or you're doing a Google search. It all lands back in the infrastructure that we build. And the insatiable appetite that people have for what we need every day, the impatience of, I need to get my, my order, I need to look at things, I need to update my friends, that's not going away. And the emerging things that are coming up, such as virtual reality, edge computing, autonomous vehicles, all of this edge element is driving even more need within our infrastructure itself. So from a Mason standpoint, what we're trying to do is bring this community of people together to collaborate. And so our mantra really is, this is where infrastructure professionals connect, grow, and give back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The I'm trying to remember the three factors that they have to have. Uh, ah, yes. Yes. Tell me, tell so, me, tell yeah, me the, so the profile of an infrastructure mason is really uh, categorized into three areas right now. It's about experience, economics, and stewardship. So for example, I'm a third degree master level infrastructure mason. What does that mean? It means that in all three of these categories, I've exceeded the master level. So for example, um, in the experience side, I have 28 years in hardware, 21 years in network, 17 years in data center, and 16 years in software. I've been a, uh, an executive for 10 years, and I've operated in nine countries. Five of those exceeded the master level mm -hmm. criteria, which means I'm a first degree master yeah. level from experience standpoint. Then you look at the economic side, we're doing it in three categories. The amount of capex that you've driven in your career for data centers, mm -hmm. for hardware, yep. and then the largest annual opex that you operate that you've operated. So for me, I've done about $7 billion worth of projects in my career between data center and hardware, and I've had a, the largest budget was uh, $350 million a year. So I've exceeded two of those categories, which makes me a second degree master level infrastructure mason. The third ca category is um, stewardship. So this is about really your work in the industry itself. So how many industry groups have you participated in? How many leadership sessions or leadership positions have you had? the um, amount of patents you filed, the papers you've written, to legislations that you've helped drive, those uh, all add up into the third degree. So I've exceeded those in a number of different areas as well. So what we've done is now looked at all of our members. We had them complete this membership profile to understand where their expertise is, to understand where their experience is. And the reason for that is for us to be able to now start pairing people. Because the connect aspect of this, it would be great to sit at the table of mm -hmm. like like experienced people who have gone through the same things you have <laughs> to be able to now just collaborate and connect right mm -hmm. it, that's really nice but at the same time we can now connect people that may not necessarily would connect normally mm -hmm. yeah so at this stage mm -hmm. we hear infrastructure masons we, we, what we hear is how many billions of dollars you've done how many thousands hundreds of years of experience you have collectively yeah. and and so forth and, but the next stage is how that, how you inspire and increase that in all the other people in the whole industry. Right. So one of the things that we're focusing on in Infrastructure Masons is uh, once you understand the profile of a person, you can now start to expose them to things that would expand their capabilities. So for example, there's a lot of people who are very, very focused on data center. But I will tell you, the ones that have experience within the, ne the network and the hardware are better data center professionals. Mm -hmm because you understand the world better. Instead of, I'm, I'm narrowly focused on power and cooling and all the aspects around how this packaging and the facilities are working, but if you understand that, guess what? There's gonna be machine learning coming into this space. What does that mean? That means that you have to have GPU-based machines that are gonna have a lot higher density racks, which might require liquid cooling, that now are gonna optimize, have to be optimized within your facility design. But if you understand that, 
you're getting that exposure, you will make better decisions in the data center. Same thing from the network standpoint. Where are you going to locate data centers? Where's the fiber? So understanding how the fiber outlays across and how the networks work and why exchanges are important and why pops are important makes you a better data center manager. Excellent.